Question 4 says for part A, expand sine of x plus 150 and cos of x plus 120. But it's unclear as to how far would you take that exactly, because the simple expansion would just be sine x cos 150 plus cos x sine 150. An expansion for that would be cos x cos 120 minus sine x sine 120 but then when you look at that you're uneasy because you know you can simplify these parts we'll leave that to part b or will i do that just now i think i'm tempted maybe i'll just do that just now now that means i've got these two obtuse angles i'll have to reduce them to their acute counterparts in order to do the evaluation so what is 150 when it's at home well you can consider it from the cast diagram all same time cos. 150 is over here. 150 degrees anti-clockwise from the positive direction of the x-axis. The working angle is the angle which is left, which is 30. So the cos of 150 would be the same as the cos of 30. Only in this quadrant, only the sign's positive. So the cos of 150 is the same as the negative of, let's well, put it in brackets then, the negative of the cos of 30 cos x, whereas the sine of x is equivalent to the sine's positive there, just the sine of 30. I'll put this in a bracket anyway as well. Sine of 30. Now what about this pair? Where's 120? If I go down to 120 degrees, all sine tan cos, the angle I'm left with here is 60 degrees this time. So that's going to be cos x times so the cos of 120 is the same as the cos of 60, but it's negative in this quadrant. So that's going to be negative cos 60 minus sine of x times sine of 60, and it's positive. I'm going to run out of space. And now that I've done that, I can finish that off because I know the exact values of the 30s and the 60s because I can remember that triangle that 30-60 triangle, the half the equilateral triangle, put 30 there, 60 there, had the simple ratio of sides 1, 2, root 3, 1 must be the smallest, 2 must be the biggest, and root 3 is in between because it's only 1.7 and so on. And then I can start filling these in. Well, I don't know what sine x is, I'll put this second because now that's just going to become a numerical coefficient. The cos of 30, cos of 30 means next to 30, root 3 up in 2, but it's negative. So I've got negative root 3 up in 2 sine x. Sine of 30 means opposite to 30. That's 1 up in 2 plus a half cos x. That would be the expansion if they wanted to go as far as that. Maybe that was meant to be left to part b. Same in this one. Cos of 60 means next to 60 adjacent. That's the 1. So that's negative a half cos x minus the sine of 60 means opposite 60, that's the root 3, root 3 upon 2, minus root 3 upon 2, sine x. Those would be the expansions. <coughs> then in part b, I said, find the exact value of this expression. Now, I know I've been a bit sloppy with omitting the degree signs all over the place. All of those x's should have had degrees on them. Put them back in the final answer. So what does that come to? So that means I've got cos x, and I'll just leave it as x, put the degrees in afterwards, minus now this expansion, which was the first one, so minus in brackets, root 3 up in 2 sine x plus a half cos x, keeping it in brackets so that the subtraction applies to all the terms within the brackets. Cos, I'll put that in a bracket as well, although it's more superficial in the case of just adding something. A half of cos x minus root 3 up in 2 sine x. Yeah, that's gone. Because it is perfectly possible to go straight from that to that just by thinking of the situation. And similarly, going straight from cos 30 to root 3 upon 2 just by thinking of the triangles. These were just visual aids. Then, what does this come to then? Put all this in properly. I've got cos x plus root 3 upon 2 sine x, but minus a half cos x minus a half cos x, and then minus root 3 upon 2 sine x. Then what happens? All these things are going to cancel out. 
the two sine x terms are going to cancel each other out. I've got whole cos x, take away a whole, because negative half, negative half is minus one, a whole cos x. So the whole thing just comes to zero. Since all the terms cancel out. There, that's question four.